So recently I played Planet Zoo Console Edition and I remembered just how much I love this game. And I was a bit confused as to why I didn't play it more when it came out. Very confused. Um, so we're going back to play the career mode. So basically a continuation from the console edition video. This is basically like a part two. Um, I've got all the DLC. So a big thanks to Frontier for providing me with a bunch of codes. So we've got all the sort of content we could possibly wish for. And uh, let's do it. We're going to do the second project, the second career mission. So let's jump in. If you guys want to see more videos of Planet Zoo, let me know in the comments. This may be just a random one of video again. Um, oh, hello. Fully train a member of staff. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. Oh, look at this. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite mm. the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Definitely. Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places place. rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> Anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. When I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> what do you think of Madagascar then? Look at this place. My taste, oh. To be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate Beautiful. sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Nancy got a lot of hate in my video. People did not like her accent, I guess, or her, or her voice. They just, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen anger like that towards a person's voice. It was kind of weird. Um, it is a little bit great, I guess, but let's make sure we've got all the settings set to high. Ultra. There we go. Apply. I hope that's the best settings. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's have a look. Ooh. Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. Those tails. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's Fancy go find that, our Borny eh? and orangutans. All right. Go for a little explore the zoo. I think they did a, a pretty good job uh, with, the, with the console edition, but again, the PC version, I would say, if you can, the Borny and is still slightly better. Is such a <gasps> That's got a keyboard! Creature. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature what? in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal <laughs> camera. <laughs> what a cool time. Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> they're quite the characters. Oh man, Nancy's in this quite a bit. <laughs> I'm going to get some uh, interesting comments again. If we were oh, proper angry. Yeah. <gasps> it looks like we've arrived just Rangatans. in time. One of the habitat's barriers has Simba. collapsed. Simba. Hello, Simba. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to what? catch them. But what before mean? we do, we Where? should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select one the habitat one boundary to bring what? up the habitat information panel. Um, how do we box them? Is this it? Ah, oh, there we go. Box. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I promise it won't be for long. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Apparently, I got zero enrichment. That's probably the reason. Why is that all of them? No, nope, there's still more. Box them up. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Oh, Not great. an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. So there's a bonobo Go just out and about. Section, and then Where? into the staff management area. All right, zoo. Uh, man, you can find all of, of your in staff in here, but there's no time yeah, to go looking vets. at their particulars at the moment. Oh, great. Hire a vet. Yes, here we go. 
Now I need click you here. on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Great. Now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. Where is it? And then oh click on the call vet button to call the, the vet fence. over to capture it. Unbelievable. Um, can you capture it? How do we capture it? Cool vet. Oh, okay, that's the relief. So Here while comes the vet, vet deals he's with gone back into the friend, enclosure. Let's go fix up their habitat <laughs> so they can't escape again. That's Head a good back idea. over there. Right. As you can Hopefully, see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's has. taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Well, did someone Select smash it the down? Or? And then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Oh, yes. So we're going to go for the wooden logs, right? Um, there we go. Uh, uh, does it connect? Good. There we go. Now that we've done that, we Beautiful. need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. Ah. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just Where's make that? sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when climb you do proof. that. Okay, so go into the options section and select which done. side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, That's wouldn't a good you say? Idea. The poor mites will get sad if Unbox all animals. For too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the We're habitat out. information panel again. Right, enrichment's low. Can we so, sort out? It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need what? to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all hmm? sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall oh, down. I didn't know that. Okay. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. So we need two mechanics. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. There you go. Two mechanics. <laughs> One star already. Gosh, we have been busy. Look at us go. Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Okay, sure. I mean, so that's the oh, that's a, that's, that's a, a bronze you star. Had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. Yep. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. I and did. more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing oh. building. Okay, right. click to Getting add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. Where are we putting this? First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Research center. Uh, here. Ah, okay, got it. Oh, I had the wrong way around. It won't connect to the path. Right. Anyway, Splendid I've ruined work. that path. We'll we ignore it. Now we have it. a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something Yay. to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to Ooh. do any other jobs. That said, you can you change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. Research level seven. So, Jeez. let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Oh, Go into okay. the zoo section and select vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. And also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Should we give it a go? Um, toy enrichment. What have we got here? Ah. Is it this one? Is it five? There we go. So, Danielle Shipman. Reminds me of Gavin and Stacey in the UK. Uh, yeah, so they're going to be working on, I guess, going through the levels. So, enrichment toys, um, education, diseases, maybe. Drag and drop the vet onto the ring. I think I've done that already, haven't I? 
There we go. Actually, Yay. thinking about it, I'm Research, not sure we've got any education food enrichment. Okay, fun facts, by the toys, habitat. education. Let's right. head over there and answer, so our guests can learn all about their furry little delights. Oh, they're so lovely. I love them. I'm going to get so much here in this video. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the Maybe habitat ladder here, at a height that guests can see, or if you like, Facilities. pop them down on a stand. Media devices and education. There's so much stuff. It's crazy. And then we need visuals. So these are the lemurs. Become educated. Does that count as one? I hope so. Was I just wasted my money? And then, do, do, do. no, it's keep moving. Okay, now that they've been put That's a into random position, place. What we am have I doing to tell there? what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Ah, oh, one sec. Right, put that and there. from the drop-down list, select ring-tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. There we go. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will sense. get confused and won't learn as much. <laughs> Why is okay. there a lion here? Done the education board, so let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play animal. audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, speakers. one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. How close is close, though? Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education boards. Okay, so speakers. Good to play some music. Another one. They're quite tiny, aren't they? Are they supposed to be like submerged into the floor? Fantastic. Probably not. Oh, it's <laughs> worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can yeah, do that sure by clicking on the, the speakers up here. Or maybe? by going back into the vet research area. Righty. Where is the next quest? Where are we going? Uh, collect the research. Okay, so that's all the way over here. Oh, we've got the zoo. Go on. Ooh. Collect your research Hello. rewards. We did it. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> well, so I keep going. When you're in the zone, you're it's in the zone. It's a max level. So with the information. Educational well, board just update we've automatically. The lives of our guests, hmm. Let's enrich the lives of our ring tailed lemurs. Good idea. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building oh, wow. them a climbing frame. <laughs> Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Which is what I've done. Next, I'm, I'm ahead click of you. on the terrain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the ah. lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Yeah. But as it happens, I've already Safely got a climbing red. frame blueprint built for you. Well, so thank you, you very much. So you can pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. Will this be suitable? I hope so. So we'll try and find the right location for it. Make sure it goes into the ground. Done. Oh, that's a that's great good. climbing oh. frame for them. They're going to <laughs> absolutely quite. love it. <laughs> One sec. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? There you go. That works. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already that. unlocked Ugh. some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information that? panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Okay. Um, Lovely. Now select go. the animals tab. Animals tab. There we go. As you can see, we can set the oh, food yeah. quality in here. It is more expensive. Just click on the drop-down menu and select grade 2 But they should all be quality. fed. 
grade good quality food. food quality. My mouth's already watering. And they're climbing already. Oh, look. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, they deserve I think it's it. time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. What's that? Releasing animals into the wild. Oh. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them no. into the wild. But <laughs> They're mine. what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Know. Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild. So the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, <laughs> because earning them allows you to adopt even more Come animals. On. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. She does habitat. like to talk this woman, doesn't she? Okay, Jesus. I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the All habitat, right. and Where's select that? him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, <laughs> oh, or select so the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and okay. find him in the animals list. Um, where would he be? Here? Uh, yes. I believe we're looking for you. Release you to the wild. Let me get some some, some kind of currency for doing this. I know it's there sad to see him go, but I don't want him to go out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Yeah, we're going for a gold. Strong and fertile. Oh, yes. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Well, I don't like to boast. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, oh. it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable oh, as a ring space over here. Ooh. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school see where this is going. if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Yes. Let's build a brand new exhibit. Yes. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. It's got to be here, right? How about we head over there? It's got to be that. Oh, it's not. I'll take it back. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Okay. Just add it to the building like we did with the research centre earlier. Then pop it into the gap. So these obviously like self-enclosed like little areas. Um, so facilities. Um, exhibits. Is it this one? Exhibit. Exhibit. Got a large one. Got a medium one. I'm guessing there's a bunch of like blueprints that I can just take from other people. <laughs> so I might do. Is this? Does that? Is this where it goes? I think so. Perfect. There we the go. next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. Ooh. How about a Gila monster? A what, Open what? up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. What? I've never heard of these. Well, they're quite expensive. So, what's that 13 minutes about? Auction time. Okay. Adopt. It cannot be released into the wild. Okay, that's fine. Just as we do we'll look after it. Animals, we need to send the Gila monster oh. to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. That's but good. that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So okay. let's finish it off. We'll Sounds start like by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Layout's okay. It's not great. Humidity's not great as well. Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the Ooh. moment. Never mind. Let's turn on at least Are we one to of them. Do some the research. Monster. Ah. As I'm sure you know by now, ah. you can unlock more enrichment levels oh. by having one of your vets do some research. Bring this. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity oh, in the exhibit. Humidity's fine. These are vitally important for keeping our Gila monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Here you can right see the Gila down. monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. 
It's more Make of a detail sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Oh, Here-ish, maybe? Is that a good spot? Oh, stop going. No, too far. That's Here we the go. Ticket. And Mwah. the last thing Perfect. you need to look oh, at it is. is setting I can see up it. different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Click on the Windows tab? You can tab. edit and customise yeah. any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background Ooh. on it. Calm Why down. don't you have a play around with the options? All right, so... Oh. I've clicked on the wrong one. So here... I want to close. Which one is it? Four? There's also an exhibit there education that closed. board. Pop them down near your exhibits to teach your guests about them. What? Let's add one now. Oh. Oh. None there. So what I'm going to do on this one then? Number four. Look at, look at that. There we go. Looking good. No, I want to keep these so as many people as possible can see them. That's a good idea. <laughs> these are little, pretty much what you'd see though in a zoo, which is kind of cool. Oh, I can have my own ones. What? I can have like a game right one. That'd be cool. Oh, does it, would this work pretty well? Looks pretty much perfect to me. So put that here-ish. Definitely not hovering. Oh, it is floating. Oh, that's all right. Is that what they wanted? Or did they mean start like, more like a screen? Place, expedition, educational. I think that's what they mean. Lovely stuff. Yay! Now our guests can learn all about our venomous about exposition friend here. Right, now, yeah. I've got a bit of a big job for you. Uh -oh. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. Uh-oh. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, Ooh. off you pop. I have at least 12 species. I'll check I've got in with you when you're almost done. Where do I even begin? So there's currently nothing in this exhibit. Ew, okay. So let's visit the exhibit market. Um, do we have any of these massive giant snails? Should we pick the most expensive one? Sure. Adopt. Send to zoo. Yes. Up to 10. Where is it? That is a massive giant snail. <laughs> that is ginormous. Uh, so in terms of welfare and stuff like that temperature's not great I want it to be about 40 degrees humidity sort of in the middle there -ish. there we go that's about spot on right so and then let's put some large rocks in this is more um more education on these giant massive they look a lot happier now so that is up to 10 now do we have any more exhibits anywhere that aren't currently being used uh I'm not in particular sure if i'm supposed to be building here but um sure <laughs> this is a terrible idea mm, that's far too high what the hell where are you going all right, that's going to be another exhibit. Uh, what else can we put down? These, oh, There's not, no try tried the frogs. I think we may have frogs already though. Does that count as one? It did count as one. Lovely. Right, let's see if we can make them a little bit happier. So obviously, I've got no power. Oh, that'd be that's a little bit annoying. Right, transformer. Can we just add the power to here? Will that will that work? I hope this works. So does that mean this building now has power? It looks like it to me. Lovely. 
Right, let's make sure this is at the right temperature. So it needs to be slightly cooler. For these massive frogs. And humidity is actually spot on. Spot on. I don't even have enrichment level one here. Oh, that's a bit annoying. So let's maybe do some research on these poor froggies. Let's give them a little bit of love. So that's under zoo, isn't it? Oh. Research complete! Right, talking of research, um, we do have the frogs. Can we do a little bit of research on these frogs, please? Is that possible? There we go. Oh, I have found a new animal, but I don't feel like this is the best enclosure. Hmm. Will they get on with other animals? This could go badly, badly wrong. This is, could go badly wrong. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. Um, I just hired a few more vets because there's a few complaints that the vets haven't been over there for a while. Did I definitely call for that to happen? Is it? Is it? Is it going through? Ooh, I'm worried. I am worried. Okay, sure. Hopefully it's coming. Yeah. Hope I don't regret this. Oh, it's arrived, but will they get on? <laughs> Is that a gold? It's a gold! all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. Agree. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, Market expanded. And by we, I mean you. Are they going to get on? get to it. Lovely it gone? job there. You I should be it. proud of yourself. Thank you. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Laddie, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. Where's all my animals? Where are you? And are you okay? Wow. Well, <laughs> you've certainly transformed the zoo. It seems to be okay. I barely recognize it. There it is. A wonderful new exhibit. Some fascinating I see some new food species. and stuff like that. Would be and good. You've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> Who doesn't do. love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> Oh, what happened there? Oh, no. God. As far mm. as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. What is that? Sadly, it appears some other Something people there. have far less noble goals. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what has happened there, though? That looks hideous. Can we try and edit that a little bit? We can't sculpt. Oh, great. Okay. Fantastic. Just love it. I seem to keep losing all my animals. Where have they gone? Where are they? I'm, I'm a great zookeeper. Right, how are you doing now? Toy enrichments could still be increased. Socially, they seem fine by themselves, which is surprising. They seem fairly happy. Or oh, want some, maybe some hard shelter. Hmm. Terrain's good, though. Train is very good. What could I give you in terms of shelters? Ah, here we go. What have we got? Something quite small. Small and cheap. This might do nicely. Let's stick this over here so you can get a little bit of alone time when he wants it. What I might do with that is just bring it down a little bit as well. Yeah, that works. Done. Nice little bit of shelter. Lovely. And then maybe some, like, small bedding. There we go. And some more. Why is it fixated on this? There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 
Yeah, that looks nice. A nice little home for him as well. So, we've got a gold on that one. Um, save. New zoo save, sure. We can now move on to the next part of the career mode. So exit to, to the main menus. Also, we can keep coming back to the zoos as well. We don't have to stay here. Um, yeah, if you guys want to keep me see, keep seeing more, I'm definitely like learning a lot as we go. I haven't really played this game. Also, played the console edition a little bit. I haven't played in like four years, which is kind of mad. So I'm guessing this is the next one. I've got like a tutorial, Panda Park. Which does sound quite cute, to be honest. I am kind of tempted. Should we have a look? Panda Park. Um, yeah, so this is like a bit of like a one-off video. Would you guys like me to do more learning? Maybe we can eventually make our own, um, our own zoo from scratch, which sounds incredibly daunting. Um, it's a massive learning process, but I'm sure we can do it. I have faith. Let's go and see some pandas. Ooh, look at this place! What the hell? Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know? Thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation, a reputation that you're gonna be in charge of maintaining, along with all the uh, general maintaining too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. <laughs> Welcome to China. This oh is Bernie's brand God. new panda celebration. This is amazing. Zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. What? But we'll deal with that later. First, Look at let's it. take a tour of the zoo. This is actual madness. Yes, yeah, so if you guys want me to do this in the next video, um, let me know. I would be so down. Look, this place is incredible. I would not even begin to even imagine um, building this. I, 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 yeah. Wow. We definitely try and go for gold, though. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And bye-byes.